welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in the YouTube Mommy Meetup Handmade Holidays collab and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So um, I racked my brain about what I would do because I do make a lot of handmade, holiday, handmade gifts for the holidays. Um, usually I bake some sort of something or um, I make something that's specific from the kids for like their teachers or their grandparents or even their dad. Um, but I wanted to do something that was a, a bit different but still very relevant. So if you're new to my channel or you don't know my background, I am Puerto Rican. I was born in Puerto Rico but raised in New Jersey. And um, we have a strong Puerto Rican background in my family. We do a lot of the Puerto Rican traditions. And a big thing that's a tradition in Puerto Rico is called coquito. Um, coquito is an alcoholic beverage. I mean, you could also make it virgin. That is made with coconut, vanilla, cinnamon, and um, white Puerto Rican rum. So specifically, that's Bacardi. Um, you could use any white rum. And it is um, served traditionally on the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, things like that. So I wanted to share my mom's coquito recipe. I had her send me the recipe and give you guys an idea of how you could give this as a gift. So I'm going to show you how to make this coquito. Um, it's very simple. I will preface this by saying that, yes, the traditional um, recipe is made with egg yolks. Uh, my mom does not make it with egg yolks and I did not want to risk making it with the egg yolks. I'm a little iffy about raw eggs so <laughs> I don't want to poison anyone but if you are brave and I think eggnog is made with egg yolks I'm not sure so if you're brave and that's something that you'd like to try definitely you can add to my recipe two egg yolks would work perfectly. So um, let's get started. And here are the ingredients you will need to make the coquito. You will need one can of sweetened condensed milk, two cans of evaporated milk, two cans of cream of coconut, two cans of coconut milk, two cups of Bacardi, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of clove and nutmeg, which are optional. To start off, I just have some water heating up over the stove. I'm going to remove the wrapper from the cream of coconut and the coconut milk, and I'm going to place them in there with the stove turned off just to heat up so that the oil is not clumpy. You will then add the cream of coconut and the coconut milk into your blender, food processor, or mixer and mix them together. You will see that I'm making only half a batch today. After that, you're going to add your evaporated milk and your condensed milk. For half the batch, I just did about half a can of the condensed milk. Blend that all together really well and go ahead and add in your spices. I am just doing cinnamon and vanilla this time. And give that a nice mix. And now it is time to add your Bacardi. I'm going to go ahead and separate mine into two and only do one cup of Bacardi. You can make this as strong as you'd like. If you're making the full batch, the recipe calls for two cups. Just taste it. It's really by taste and preference. Once I started making this, I realized I probably should have used my mixer even for just the half batch because I didn't have enough room. But I'm going to just go ahead and put it all into one large bowl. These are the bottles I'm using. They're from Ashland. They are from Michaels. They were $9.99 for the six. I'm just going to go ahead and place a funnel in the top of a pre-washed bottle and go ahead and fill it up with coquito. You want to then refrigerate for at least two hours before it's drank. Alright guys, so after your coquito has been refrigerated, um, you can go ahead and give it away. Make sure that you let your recipients know that they do need to refrigerate this. It is something that needs to be refrigerated. Now, I wanted to, I wanted to mention that my mom does give coquito as gifts as well. And I wanted to kind of give you different ideas that you can package this up that could be even less spendy and um, still really super cute. So my mom buys the cold like Starbucks frappuccinos that come in small bottles like these and my sister drinks them all. She removes any labeling or anything on it. She washes them out really well and she bottles the coquito up in that. And then she will take some Christmas wrapping paper and wrap here where the label would go and just on 
a regular piece of paper. She would print something out or write something that says Merry Christmas or Coquito and she just sticks it on there with double sided tape and that's how she does it. She also has this really good idea to use the carrier that those Starbucks drinks come in. She wraps that in wrapping paper as well and carries all her Coquitos in there. So that's another way you could do it that could save you a bit of money because you can recycle the bottles. Um, I know family members also buy the smaller bottle of Bacardi and they will use all the Bacardi to make the Coquito and then, or they'll use the Bacardi. I don't know if they use all the Bacardi, but I've just seen <laughs> from my best experience when I was younger, um, I've seen family members bring that Coquito in the actual Bacardi bottle. So you could always do that. Um, like I said, you can make this stronger or a lot or you know, virgin or with just less alcohol, whatever your flavor preference is. And of course, you could use the nutmeg and the cloves. I decided to leave it out this time. I might put it in a different time. So this is a traditional coquito recipe, and this is a cute way that you can bottle it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the different things I used to bottle this. I already showed you the bottles and told you where they came from. I will show you the paper for the labeling, um, for the labels that you could use and um, also the tags and everything. I think it might be helpful for you to see it in the packaging so you know what you're looking for. And like I said, the PDF to this will be available down below. Um, just click the link to go to my blog. I just started the blog, so this will be the first post, and then you can click the link to download the PDF. So I will go ahead and show you guys all the different things that I bought to make this look the way it does and of course you could use different color string um, whatever your preference is I just like this streamlined look okay so I do not have the packaging for the labels I use I use Avery labels the number is um, six seven nine four and they are water resistant and the reason they're a little bit pricey but if you go to staples and just ask for the labels six seven nine four they will give them to you you can print more than one of these on it and um the reason i went with that is because they are water resistant and this does need to be refrigerated and i was just worried that the paper might peel but um it's up to you what you choose. You could just use regular paper and stick it on with double side tape. You can do my mom's idea with the wrapping paper, whatever works best for you. Um, these are the tabs, tags I picked. They're by Recollections. They're from Michaels. This was like uh, $2 maybe. Um, they're just plain tags and I grabbed these because I could use them for more than just this, even though I do think that all 25 may go for um, the Christmas season. And then this is the jute rope that I got and it's also by the Recollections brand. And I think I paid like two bucks for this. This is 30 yards, it's a lot. I can use it for a lot of things. And then um, this is from the Dollar Spot at Target if you're lucky to find it. It's a stamp and ink set and it says Made With Love. Um, it's from, what's it called now? Um, playground uh, the dollar spud I can't remember what it's called now but um they had a few different ones like to and from ones and things like that but you could also get stamps like this at Michael's if you're looking but this was just a dollar so I picked that up so that is everything that completed my look like I said I just bottled it up printed out the label stuck it on the front um stamped the tag and I just tied it around two times so I can kind of show you how I tied it um, if you're interested, uh, you don't have to use jute, obviously you could use, I think it'd be really pretty with like the gift ribbon, that would look pretty too. So here's what I did, I just go, went ahead and looped some of the jute rope into my tag. I kept it doubled and I wrapped it right around the bottle, doubled like that, and just tied it through, tucked it under and pulled it through right at where the tag was. And then I separated the two strings and wrapped them around twice and tied a bow right on top, right where the tag was. And I thought that worked out really good and it was cute. So that is how you make this cute little coquito gift. I think it's a great gift for coworkers. This is something that my husband's coworkers will be getting along with some baked cookies. Um, if you're interested in some Puerto Rican 
cookie recipes. I have one on my channel already and December 1st I am doing an online cookie ex cookie recipe exchange with a bunch of my friends from YouTube Mommy Meetup so stay tuned for that. Um, so I am, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful and gave you a good idea for something to give as a gift. Um, I think that you can't go wrong with edible things. People, everybody likes to eat and um, it's even better if you know someone who likes alcoholic drinks. This works out perfectly for that situation. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you'll be making this. Definitely check out the link to be able to get this principle. My husband created this, so shout out to him. Thumbs up if you think he did a good job. Don't forget to click the more info bar down below and access the playlist for this collab. It's awesome. There are so many awesome ideas. <laughs> so definitely check them out if you're looking to save a little money and go a little more handmade for the holidays. So thank you guys again for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk.